All right, today we're going to talk about water. Water is a really good and profound way to keep our, our body healthy. And not only that, it's good for body temperature, it's good for your metabolic rate, it's good for your colon, it's good for your skin. I can go the whole day on water, a, a beneficial value. The problem is that some of them, most of us actually, 70% are somewhat dehydrated in Canada. And when we start drinking water, we drink it like it's going out of style. We know that here eating at Simply for Life, your portions of fruits and vegetables will supply you a fair amount of water you need for the day. But if you drink six to 10 glasses of water, it's usually the optimal range. That is taking consideration whether you're uh, engaged in uh, activities or sports that would make you sweat, perspire, or you're in a warmer climate, it's always feasible to drink more fluids. When it comes to fluids, any fluids will do, unfortunately. But one thing I will never agree is that you can't compare a liter of orange juice to a liter of water. One contains 1,100 calories and the other has zero calories. When it comes to obesity, uh, the prevalence of diabetes, cardiovascular risk, we want to reduce as much sugar as possible. So we try to keep our clients focused on water only. I like to start them with two cups of water a day. Build with four cups, six cups, and if you can keep a maintaining adoptable level of water of eight cups of water a day, we're doing fine. If you want to drink 12 cups, it's, it's up to you if you're physically active, but I really don't see more than eight cups of water. If you're consuming more sodium, a little bit more hot water will help. So again, six to 10 cups of water a day, it's optimal range. If you really want to be key, eight cups of water a day. We all know that water makes a huge impact when it comes to weight loss, but it's not the key factor. So good luck to you.